how's it going guys so this is a, a little bit different to, uh, video than I normally do um, I go out real early a lot uh, to, st to go fishing and I have of course you're supposed to use a 360 light and um, so I don't want to pay hundred dollars for these 360 lights I really don't and from what I've seen they're not very bright at all so I watch a few videos and and uh, and different things, and I've had a uh, a PVC uh, one that I made with a flashlight that worked really well, but it was real heavy. Um, the flashlight itself was great, but it was very heavy and it, it wobbled back and forth. And then I had this big three quarter inch PVC um, post that I was using, and um, you know it worked, did the job, and it was bright. But it just, I wanted something better. So currently what I'm using is this, uh, it's a Magellan uh, Marine Radar uh, light. And it's actually, and it, it connects to a, I think a, a ram mount. No, not a ram mount. Um, I forget what it's called, but uh, it actually has a good mount. It, but it's only about 24 inches. And the it starts out, it starts out great the, the the light starts out bright and everything and that but after a few uses it starts to dim yeah it's the batteries but i put new batteries in it and you know there's constantly putting batteries in it um it takes three triple a batteries each time um you know nothing's cheap nowadays so i was like okay what can i use that maybe laying around and um so I wanted to do a tutorial on uh, on making one, and, uh, and a fairly decent decent bright one, and one that's probably it's a little thinner. It's not as thin as these hundred dollar ones, but um, you know this is my take on a DIY 360 light. So uh, let me show you the uh, let me show you the supply list that I that I came up with, and everything will be linked down below. You know, let's get going. Let's get ready for fishing. Alright guys, so here's my um, supply list, I guess you could say. I'm actually using CPVC, uh, half inch and three quarter inch, uh, mainly because I wanted it to be thinner um, than, than ordinary PVC, I guess. Uh, the other thing is I'm using a, a T, three quarter inch T, uh, probably about a one and a half inch uh, up two probably just one probably just one depending on how you're going to mount it this is this is why i said so basically there's a one and a half a three quarter inch cpvc um, and then there's an adapter from three quarter inch down to half inch which is here and you'll need depending on how you're going to mount it um, what i'm probably thinking is the three quarter inch will go on the bottom um, i have a switch and a tail light LED tail light, uh, preferably one that'll do 9 volt, 9 to 12 volt is, uh, and they're usually pretty cheap. And then I have a diffuser that I'm going to mount on the end. Oh, and also you're going to need enough line to go from the top. Oh, I'm sorry. This is actually uh, two foot CPVC is what you'll probably need at least to um, go over your head, and then enough enough wire in order to go from the top of that 
all the way down to uh, wherever your battery is. Now, the battery that I'm using is actually just a small uh, 4 amp hour 12 volt battery. This is actually out of a UPC uh, that I had laying around. It's the same kind of batteries that you see. Uh, just something small. Um, you can connect um, a few batteries together. I, I want it to be able to last for a little while and um, and possibly even add more lights so uh, so that's it for that okay first thing what I did was I soldered two probably about 10 inches of uh, wire to the switches and I went ahead and do a heat shrink on here just for it to make it look good and and um, to make sure it holds uh, in place in case my solder uh, my soldering thing uh, didn't hold very good um, now what I also did was if you can see here I did put like an o-ring on here um, not necessarily I'm gonna try it actually the reason being is it's gonna go into it fits just into here and it kind of snaps in and maybe it'll give it a little bit more water resistant um, you can probably put some some tape around it to make it fit more stuck to, or even put some silicone in there after the fact really the only um, is splashing and 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 if it rains and I even still uh, the water will run out the bottom and it shouldn't have any problems um, so the way the switch is going to work if you don't know how switches work is uh, so this is going to go up to the light okay um, I'm going to tie another longer piece of, of line up to that and solder that together with some heat shrink also and then on this particular bulb these two right here are going to be tied together and then we're going to solder on solder one line onto the here and the ground is going to be on the outside okay so the way that's going to work is one line is going to come across here we'll say We'll say this line to the bottom, and then there will be another line that connects to here, all the way down past the other end of this line. That is your switch. So by flipping this, it'll complete the circuit, and that'll make it turn on, okay, on and off. So we'll have a line that goes all the way out and then another line that connects to this that goes all the way out to the bottom also okay what I ended up doing is um, even with the o-ring it didn't actually uh, stay in there very well so I held it down put some uh, silicone in there and uh, so now it's it's watertight and um, it's staying in there I actually put a little dab of super glue in there just to just to make sure okay one thing to remember when you are soldering this on here is try to make sure this part right here is as flat as possible okay because that determines when it fits into this tube here now you can here see how that goes in there you can wall out the the PVC a little bit but it's it's you know you don't know how it's gonna fit and, and stuff like that so the best thing to do is if you just be careful when you're doing it all right little uh, thing I ran into just a little tip to to so you don't do the same mistake is I actually the wires that I had from here I split it I had one come out that way and one come out this way um, oops have them both run out that way and then do your wiring at the end because it's kind of a pain to uh, adjust it after the fact it's easier that way and then you can splice it a little bit better too all right guys so uh, here's the assembled product uh, again the length of the uh, of the three-quarter inch just to you know cut it to where you exactly you're gonna need it or how you're gonna mount it but um, it's uh, and same with the wire 
to how you're going to hook it up to your battery. But uh, let's see how it is, how bright it is. A little switch. So that's pretty bright. Definitely brighter than any other uh, 360 light that I've had. So, gonna test it out tomorrow. Tight lines, guys. Let's go fishing. Oh, here's my uh, 360 light I made. It's nice, it's pretty bright. Works pretty good too.